Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Pastor Daniel Oluwandi's powerful message, Build Your Life on Faith, we learn the foundation of a fulfilled life. Just as a seed is planted in fertile ground, we must construct our lives on the solid rock of faith. Faith empowers us to overcome obstacles and extend a helping hand to others in love. Embrace faith and watch as your life blossoms into a testament of God's grace and power. Era. That's it! Use faith in the market! He said, don't come. Don't be waiting for pastor to come and lay hands on your product. Send the word. Or Roche said, or Roger the Hashemah Tele. Send it to your daughter in school. Let me say this for my mom now. Before I got married, I was, I was planning to marry one lady. I was going out with her. And, we and one day my mom just called me early in the morning. I don't know what she saw. She said, to her, that lady you are going out, I didn't tell her I'm in a relationship. It, it cannot work oh, because I saw that we went to do marriage and their house cut her. <laughs> she just called me early in the morning. I just called my friend, Pastor Wale. I said, my mom just called me now. That this and this and this. He said, What are you going to do? I said, I'm going to break up now. <clears throat> I just that was the end of the relationship. She did not know she has not met the lady before. She did, I didn't tell her. That was all. A word. I would have missed it. Now the lady might not be a bad lady, but she might not be the one for me. Are you with me? Now prophecy did not come because she's a prophetess it came because there are certain prayers we'll be praying we have sent that word into the future we can't miss it the day i carried my first baby zion as she was coming from the womb of her mother they handed over over to me and i said by the time you are getting married i settled that day I cleared that day. I spoke into the future. When the second one came, as a carry, I was not going to miss it. I said, I said to your marital day. No, uh, let's be, I, be, I had to say to the future from the first day. What words are you sending to your future? Before I met my wife, I have spoken ahead. There are certain men and ladies you meet, they are good people, but they are not meant for you. You won't marry them. Not because they are bad, not because they are witches, but because that's not God's plan for you. There are businesses you won't do. That's why you have to speak to the future. He says, send your word. Don't come, send your word. Wake up, speak over your children. I know you have not met her. On campus, I spoke about my wife every day. I spoke about my children. I know their name before I met them. Speaking, oh, when my son comes, when my daughter comes, I started speaking. My wife, I spoke, I spoke, I spoke, I spoke about my ministry. I send they are called insurance prayer. I send them into the future, and now I'm reaping them. Can you ensure your future in the place of prayers? Mark 9:24. Last scripture, and we pray. Mark 9:24. Oh Jesus. Have you seen it? Yes, sir. Read for me. The father of the child cried out and said, and said I believe. I believe. Help my own Help my own belief. That's our prayer. Father, kill doubt in me. Kill doubt in me. Help my own belief, God. Kill doubt. Kill doubt. Kill doubt. Help my own belief. Cry to God. 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 Ah. Help my own believer. Help my own believer. Kill doubt in me. 
kill doubt in me kill doubt in me help my own belief help my own belief kill doubt in me kill doubt in me help my own belief help my own belief kill doubt kill doubt in me help my own belief kill doubt in me kill doubt in me kill doubt in me help my own belief help my own belief help my own belief kill doubt kill doubt kill doubt help my own belief in jesus name we are praying so shall live in the name of jesus oh i'm going to declare over you shortly as we close today but can you lift up your offering bring out your offering tonight you are going to use your offering as a faith contact for your finances as a faith contact for your finance I will never be broke in my life Yeah, for those who want to transfer, the account number is 38-500-39889. 38-500-39889. Those who want to do a transfer, 38-500-39889. Fire in my bones up, Revival Tent, Echo Bank. Fire in my bones up, Revival Tent, Echo Bank. 38-500-39889. Fire my bones up revival tent. Three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Lift up your offering. And those who are transferring, you can do the same. Father, I will never be broke in my life. Ah, I will be extremely blessed. I will, I will bless your programs. I will bless your assignment. I will be able to take care of my family. I will be able to do many things for you. Malabra shakataya baraba. Cry to God. 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 I will never be broke in my life. I will never lack. I will never lack. I will never lack. Ah. I will never be broke in my life. I will never lack. 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 I will never lack in my life. Never. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Ushers, please pass on the offering basket. Manly grass. Those who do transfer, you can do it. Three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Please have your seat for one minute. There's a program that is coming up here on the Sunday, twenty eighth of August. Activate for Mother's Prayer Mother's Prayer Conference. Activate with Pastor Tommy Adisa, two p.m. here on the twenty eighth of August. Uh, I want to encourage you to attend that meeting. Uh, don't miss the meeting. And by the grace of God, we are going to be having our flaming relationship conference with the Winlows, September 18 and 19. The Winlows, the husband and wife, will be here for two days: Sunday evening and Monday evening. By next week, Monday, the flyers will be available. Please invite your friends and family to be part of that conference. And how many of you are ready for 80 hours? We are going to be having 80 hours in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> From Sunday 20... Uh, what's that date again? Uh, let me check it. From Sunday 25 of September 
to 2nd of October is going to be massive every night 10 hours every night for 8 days 10 hours every night for 8 days is with fasting hmm. it's going to be awesome don't miss that encounter uh, by the grace of God we have a children department here where we take care of children at the back so you don't be afraid of your children they are in safe hands at the back under the revival tent anointing and we have uh, uh, anointed teachers who are there to help them our offering is blessed in the name of Jesus we will never lack any good thing in the name of Jesus doors open unto us doors open unto us financial breakthroughs will never be broke this will be the least we will ever be in the name of Jesus Amen Hallelujah I want to pray for two persons here today I want to say Pastor I've enjoyed God's word tonight I need to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior I need to rededicate my life to Jesus or oh, I'm struggling with one sin or the other addiction or the other and I need help whatever you are just lift up your right hand let me pray with you above your head thank you my brother thank you please just come forward come forward just take a step of faith and come 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 forward yes yes come 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 forward come forward come forward jesus is calling on you you are sitting there don't sit down come 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 yes jesus came to look out for you tonight come 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 yes today is a day just you and jesus just you and jesus just you and jesus just you and jesus there are two more persons the lord is speaking to where you are seated he's telling you i'm calling you i'm calling you you are hearing his voice but you are disobeying two more persons that are here in my spirit yes come okay yeah i can close now say after me say lord jesus thank you for looking out for me thank you for reaching out to me i'm sorry for my sins i believe you died for me on the cross of calvary i confess you as my lord and savior please forgive me purify me cleanse me from all righteousness i receive your spirit and i will never go back to the world forever and ever in the name of jesus amen congratulations please i would like to have your details so that i can be praying for you just follow this man over there please just follow him for two minutes and you'll be back thank you very much celebrate jesus today celebrate jesus have you been blessed today what will you go and do after this service what are you gonna do you go and mix everything right go and do concussion destiny yes mix everything everything must be mixed yes but this school has advantage you that's why i know some of this i know if i didn't go to body school i won't know all these things all this concussion something how many of you are like me did you enjoy those days if you didn't go to body school you didn't go to school <laughs> praise god but thank god thank god rise upon your feet let's decree and we're close today have you been blessed give god a shout of praise I want to celebrate our daddies and mommies. Uh, pastor Fagbongbe, thanks for always showing up. Thank you very much, sir. These are senior pastors in RCCG who come here week in, week out to, to be a blessing, to enjoy God's grace. Thank you, daddy. Thank you. Sister Lillian, thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Pastor, please don't sit at the back again forever. Thank you. Thank you. Let me celebrate my parents too. Thank you. Thank you. My younger brother too is here. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know, it's good when your family is a family of faith. Yes. Uh, I celebrate God for that. Specifically, the Lord spoke to me on Sunday that is a season of wealth transfer. The Lord said it's a season of wealth transfer and that um, God will be committing wealth to saints. Because he said the things you want to do requires a lot of financing so that it's going to be committing wealth to the hands of saints now and they're going to be younger saints 
now hear me hear me hear me but god is going to test you to check your faithfulness level to see whether you are matured enough to undo kingdom wealth <laughs> so get ready and the lord is going to be dropping business ideas in your heart that will start small and when those ideas come small god is going to check your faithfulness to small things to see whether you, are, you can handle big things he won't throw big money uh two years ago the lord started throwing wealth to the hands of believers in area in certain area and all of them crashed at the same time why they lost their salvation they blew it there was a time that christians entered into wealth as a result of a divine breath that came upon them some of them lost it they became extravagant they they lost they they messed up god said a new wave is coming some of them are in jail now but they are all believers they were pastors before they started but god said a new wave is coming and that new wave god will be trusting men with opportunities god will begin to trust you with oh jesus there will be kingdom partnerships yes god will begin to bring you to certain circles and association but god is saying solidify your salvation now because if it comes you are not saved you'll be swayed out god's going to be trusting properties to the hands of young people properties properties young people young people because what god wants to do cannot wait till you are old God cannot wait. God is in haste to get things done. But God will wait if you waste his resources. Hallelujah. Now God wants to do a quick work. But God is going to wait if you waste his resources. Don't say you are young. There are certain ideas that will be coming to your mind. Now start building capacity. Don't just be praying and speaking in tongues alone. Start reading books. Start building capacity. I hear in my spirit again, pay attention to agriculture. I hear in my spirit again, pay attention to agriculture. There is coming a food scarcity. There is coming a food scarcity. There is coming a food scarcity. Pay attention to agriculture. attention now <laughs> certain businesses will be anointed in the coming season any business that has to do with land with food business that has to do with food that has to do with land because the Lord is blessing the earth That is not the only thing God is going to do, but that area. And I hear in my spirit again, God is going to anoint those who are educators. Now, educators doesn't only mean you are teaching biology and chemistry or physics, but those who are going to be impacting people with knowledge. There's an anointing, there is a wealth coming to the areas of training. To the areas of training yeah another thing God is saying to my spirit is that God wants to raise intercessors who will not be known yes he said you will not be visible you will not be known you will not be celebrated but he will celebrate you yes intercessors who will not be visible who will not be celebrated but if we anoint them with governmental anointings so by the time they are faithful with it he will trust them with nations now you'll be able to decide what happens in nation and God will not be able to refuse you there 
are few this one is not for everybody there are few people that god is calling to these offices he's, he's going to be speaking to you in the coming days about this intercessory anointing a, there was a wave of intercessors that came to nigeria in the past year like one or two and that wave made the intercessors desire visibility and god killed the anointing so there are intercessors who became blind spiritually God could not trust them with information again because all they care about is to be seen. They want to be known and noticed. But there is a coming wave again for intercessors that God will be, will be God's intercessors. Now, some of them, God will assign them to certain men of God. I say, your assignment is this man. Now, these intercessors are going to swear with their life. He said that this man continue or I go. This category of intercessors, they are going to make enter a covenant with God, Lord, not under my watch will this person go down. They not under my watch. They are going to enter strength. Now, now nobody will celebrate them. The only person permitted to them is the man they are assigned to. God will begin to reveal the people they are sent to them. He begins to tell them, that is the person I assign you to. So that thing will compel you. You go and say, hello sir, your life is my assignment. And you can't do it by mouth. Because if you come, the body will weigh you. Now, God will begin to bother you with the man. He will bother you with the organization. Now, God is saying, as you are faithful with that man, or the persons they send you to, the nations are assigned to that person. God begin to bother you with the burden for those nations. So, in your in your archive, in your laurels, there will be nations attached to you. That on your news you decide the fate of the nations. But it's going to be it's going to start from one man. There's going to be an upsurge of divine knowledge. Men will come into light. But be careful. The Lord said, I should warn you against titles. Against titles. Don't be in this to pick a title. Let God give you divine entitlement. Be careful of titles. Many people will lose their call because of titles. Be focused. Be focused. Be focused. In the coming days, you'll be so anointed that the chains in your family will be broken whole because of your presence. Yes. Now, the demons are already marking you. And what they will do is that they will send waves of distractions. The agenda of the devil now is like I came into their meeting and what I see is that let's distract her, let's distract her. So the distraction will be coming from in three forms. Distraction from the things around you, distractions from the pains in the house. There will be certain pain that the enemy will raise from within that will distract you and make you think God is weak. But that pain, that crisis, now as you increase your prayer, the crisis will increase for the initial stage. Now, that crisis is to distract you, to make you feel God is not true. But if you can persevere and break through that season, you will not be anointed to destroy the crisis. There are certain crises around you now that are for your anointing. The crisis are the starting point of your call. Don't be discouraged. God is calling you. I see God. I see certainly this that God is changing their garment to mother garment. You are no longer CC. You are now a mother. It's going to be, he's dressing you like a mother. Like a mother. The mother of a king. You are the one custodian. Women like Anna. Not Anna. H-A-N-A. Anna. A-N-A. In the book of Matthew. Oh, thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. 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 I see businesses 
around what edible things prosper yeah i see like fish i see things like that meat fish i see i see somebody packaging those things i see those things prosper <laughs> all these things it's not for everybody but the people that God is sending the world to they will be able to pick it Father thank you Father thank you Father thank you don't be ashamed of what God asks you to do drop your big boy and big girls get your sleeves and you will touch with your money. Say the Lord. There's going to be a wisdom in tech. Strange wisdom. God will be calling some of you into tech. Come, come, come. It's a summon of the spirit. It's not, uh, I just wake up. I think tech is the one making money now. There's going to be a summon. A summon in tech. And the purpose God is gonna God is gonna God is gonna trust you with so much wisdom to solve problems in tech. Now there will be certain solutions that will be coming into tech. Solutions, medical tech, educational tech, financial. We have seen a lot of fintechs, but we're gonna see meditechs, edutechs. There are gonna be solutions for ministry, solutions day-to-day -day solution ideas that people need to survive God is going to give men wisdom now, now when God gives prophetic word begin to sharpen your skills in the areas you are sensing there is a call because there's going to be a diversion <laughs> the wisdom of God is going to spread Get ready, get ready, get ready. Because God is going to bless the work of your hand. You can't be idle in this season. There must be something you are doing. 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 Hello, God is not going to bless your idleness. He's going to bless what you are doing. There must be something you are doing. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Sharpen your skills, prepare. Prepare, 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 prepare. Something big is coming. Prepare, prepare. Stretch forth your two hands. Maliga tembrosku baikanas. I prophesy into your life this week. Everything you touch is blessed. Everything you undo is blessed. Everything you touch is blessed. Everything you undo is blessed. This week you won't go to the wrong place. You won't meet the wrong people. You will enter the wrong vehicle. You won't go to the wrong place. You won't say the wrong things. I say I cancel accident on your part. You will not be kidnapped. You will not be carried. You will not be wasted. You will not walk with the wrong people. You will not move with the wrong people. This week you are blessed. On Monday you are blessed. Tuesday you are blessed. Wednesday you are blessed. Thursday you are blessed. Friday you are blessed. Saturday you are blessed. Sunday you are blessed. This week every day is going to be loaded with ideas. Brand new ideas. New ideas. Favor. 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 Divine help. Divine lifting. Divine assistance. For students in public schools, I decree an end to this Asu strike. Within 21 days, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will rise for you. The Lord will rise for you. 
the Lord will rise for you. Delay is cancelled. 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 Everyone trusting God for marital partner, it is sorted. Everyone trusting God for business, it is sorted. Whatever you are trusting God for is released. Receive the help of the Lord in your going out, in your coming in. There shall be no tragedy around you, no tragedy in your family, no tragedy everywhere. Your family is covered, you are covered. Everyone connected to you, they are covered. If you are sick, you are healed. If you are weak, you are strong. You are helped of the Lord. It is well with you, well with your family members, well with your loved ones, well with your going out, and your coming in. Your business prospers. Your business prospers. Your business prospers. Receive new ideas. Receive brand new ideas. Receive partners. Receive partners. Receive partners. Receive partners. Go global. Go international. Go global. For those in ministry, receive divine anointing. Receive wisdom. Receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you are doing, the Lord bless it. Provided it gives glory to God. The Lord bless it. The Lord prosper it. Everything you are doing that gives glory to God. The Lord bless it. The Lord prosper it. The Lord show you new paths. New ways better ways better ideas and so shall it be in jesus name the battles in your family are over battles in your life are over your battles are over it's a new day it's a new day it's a new beginning it's a new season it's a new day it's a new beginning it's a new season i close your old day i close your old season i cancel your bad day i declare a new beginning and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Give God a shout of praise. 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 Hallelujah! Say surely to your neighbor. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you!